In this video, we're going to talk about how to combine multiple connectives into a more complicated statement. So, suppose your friend comes up to you and they say the following. A schnookle is red if and only if it likes blueberries or it can fly. Well, regardless of whether we know what a schnookle is, we can still figure out under what conditions the statement's going to be true and or false. So, first things first, we've got to figure out how to translate this. So, I just kind of like to go from left to right. So, P is going to be the statement. A schnoogle is red. Uh, Q will be the statement. A schnoogle likes blueberries. And then R is going to be the statement. A schnoogle can fly. We have three statement letters here, therefore we're going to have two to the three, or eight total rows. So here is the truth table. One way to do a truth table is to make a column for each piece of the statement. So our statement is P if and only if Q or R. A schnoogle is red if and only if it likes blueberries or it can fly. So since Q or R is kind of a piece of the statement, we give it its own column so that we can figure out the truth table sort of one piece at a time. It makes things simpler for us rather than doing all the work at once. As usual, I'm going to start with the leftmost statement letter, which in this case is P. I'm going to do half the eight rows are going to be true, and half the eight rows are going to be false. I highly recommend using lined paper for this if you can. Then Q, I'm going to take half my true P's and make them true, true, true. Then half of my true P's are going to be false. So really what this is is I'm doing a quarter true and a quarter false, and a quarter true and a quarter false. And remember my last statement letter column is always alternating. So R is going to be true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Now let's look at the statement Q or R. Q or R is true when at least one of Q or R is true. So it is true in rows 1, 2, and 3. But notice that in the fourth row it's false because both Q and R are false. And that pattern repeats for rows 5 through 8. True, 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 false. Now I can look at just the Q or R column and the P column to get the column for this biconditional statement. Remember the biconditional is true when both of the things being related have the same truth value. So in row one, both P and the statement Q or R are true, therefore this biconditional is true as well. And if we wanted to, we could actually write the columns for P and Q or R, oops, So for reference, right, so I could actually do that. I could reprint these columns, true, true, uh, true, true, false, 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 false. Uh, and then for Q or R, it is true, 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 false, true, 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 false. And now for my biconditional, I just go down and I look to make sure that the two values are the same. So true and true makes true, true and true makes true. True if and only if false is going to be false because they're not the same. Same with the next three rows. And then finally in the last row, false if and only if false is true because again, they just have to be the same.